Hi, in this video, we're going to see how to plot a log in different axes in MATLAB. So I have already opened a script. Now let's see when should we use a log in our axis. So a log should be convenient when a data is large in magnitude. So if for instance, the X axis has a wide variety of values, then we should use a log in X axis but linear in y-axis. Similarly, we can do a log in y-axis, but linear in x-axis, and we can do both axes as log. Previously, we have seen plot commands as linear in both axes. So if the data varies exponentially or there's a square, it's uh, very much possible that the data is exploding or it's increasing the value significantly. So we should use a log scale in that circumstance. Now, we have used a plot command, which plots both the x and y axis in a linear scale. Now, we can use another plot command that's called semi-log y, which uses a log scale in the y axis, but linear in the x axis. We can use semi-log x, which uses log in the x axis, but linear in the y axis. And we can use a log log, which plots both the axes in the log scale. So let's jump back to the MATLAB and see how to use these commands to make the axes in the logarithmic scale. Okay, so here I have already saved the script and I will define a variable named let's say x and let's just define randomly that it goes from 0 to uh, with an increment of 0 0.1 to 5. So we've defined an array of x, and that's an input variable for the x-axis. And for the y-axis, we can say it's an exponential function. And so the function is e to the power x. And we can do um, plot. So let's just use the plot as regular. Um, so plot command, the first one is the value that is going to plot in the x-axis and this is the variable that's going to plot in the y-axis. Using a plot command uh, tells MATLAB that to plot both axes in the linear scale. So if I run it, the plot, as you can see, it has both the axes in a linear scale. I haven't put, put any title or labels here, but you can add that. So Let's just change this plot command to semi log x. Now, the semi log x was that command where the x axis goes to the log scale and the y axis remains linear. So if I just run it, as you can see, the x axis is in the log scale, but y axis is in the linear scale. We can do the opposite. We can use a semi log y. So now the y axis should be in the log scale and x should be in the linear. We can use the log log command to make both of the axes go to log scale. Now let's see how to plot all four types of plots here in a single figure using a command called subplot. If you don't know what is a subplot, you can go to the other link of the video that I'm going to provide below and that will tell you how to use the subplot command. So let's just use the subplot here. Now I'm going to generate a two by two matrix for my figures because I have four figures here. So I'll say two comma two comma one. Now these first two actually defines the two by two matrix and this third number one defines the position of the figure. So we want to say the first, this, this position contains the first figure. So let's just use the plot command for this and do x-axis as x and y-axis as y. And let's put a title here so that we can understand what type of figure is it. So let's say linear slash linear, meaning linear in the x-axis, linear in the y-axis. And then I'm gonna put the subplot two comma two comma two. So this is the second position. And let's use the command called semi-log x, which is for the x-axis will go as a log axis and 
y-axis will be in the linear scale. So I do that and then I'll put a title here saying log slash linear. Okay, for the third plot, let's say 2 comma 2 comma 3. And let's use semi log y here. And so this is going to put the y axis in a log scale, but x axis will be in the linear scale. So let's say linear slash log. And for the fourth plot, let's say subplot 2 comma 2 comma 4. Now we're going to use both axes as log, so we're going to, going to use log log x comma y. Title is going to be log slash log. Okay, so if I just run it, let's see if it generates a figure. As you can see, it generated one single figure with four subplots inside. So um, if I just increase the size of the figure, you can see the first position is using the plot command. So it's linear and linear in both axes. The second one is log linear. So log in the x axis, linear in the y axis. This is linear log. So linear in the x axis, log in the y axis. And this is log log. So using both the axes in the log scale. So that's how we can generate log scales in different axes in MATLAB. That's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.